Can you see my eyes now? Like on camera, can you see my eyes? He didn't even, he didn't even look. I know. <laughs> I mean, I can't see what I was right now. This is Emily and Brian. And Hi guys. We are here for another week of Unscripted. Woo. And so this week I've got something for you. So I want to talk about complaints. Oh, yeah. Yes. And we're just going to jump right into it. Okay. So what did I do wrong? No. Yes. I've got a laundry list of complaints for you specifically. But no, more, more so to the point of, I think it's something we've all talked about a lot this year, but maybe not specifically of just how negative the world seems like in some Ugh. ways it seems really positive but then in other ways it just seems negative and i'll even say for myself i feel <laughs> like i've been more negative just because of things that have been going on in the world yeah and especially when you look at social media like social media is great for like connecting and we were able to like have worship that way for so long when we weren't able to gather in space yeah but it's also a very dark place full of a lot of negativity and a lot yep. of complaints. Well, it's almost like a megaphone too. Like if you and I are talking and we're complaining about, you know, this, that, or the other venting is, right. I like to say I vent yes. instead of complaining because there's no Bible verse that says don't vent. Right. So this feels better. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'm safe. Right. Right. So, but I feel like social media is a mega megaphone because if um, you and I are venting about a certain topic, whatever it is, um, it stays with us. Right. But then as soon as you put it on uh, any social media outlet, it just gets amplified. And then if people are like, I agree, and then they, you know, they get in your comment section or if they disagree, mm -hmm. there's an opportunity that people have to treat someone else poorly and just, you know. Uh, yeah. vent on them right and i think something that's like it's always important for me to remember in those situations is that like the main reason i mean there's always going to be the trolls right there's always going to mm. be those people that are just arguing to argue but i would yeah. say for the most part people are complaining or they are doing that because it's something that they're extremely passionate about yeah. and they don't see that it's like doing the right thing or what they think is right yeah. so I guess my question is, is like for you and like, if you were like as Christians, how do we go about like weighing that mechanism of like, I'm really passionate about this and I want to make sure it's being done correctly, yeah. but also not dipping into that, just like being negative and complaining. Like where do we find yeah. that balance? Right. I think a lot of it has to do with the approach. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It, if you, um, if you have a complaint, sometimes, like you said, it's because you're passionate or you have a critique or criticism that that might be very valid for yeah. whatever you are caring about that you're that you're upset about or frustrated with. I think it's in the approach. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, ultimately, it's remembering that th that's a person that you're talking with mm. about whatever you're passionate about. And that person is probably trying their best, you know, yeah. That's my default is that thinking that people are actually out to do good for mm -hmm. what, you know, if it's their job or if it's, I don't know, something that they're doing for other people. Right. So. Well, because they're passionate about it too. Like yeah. there's like that mutual mm -hmm. passion about it. And I think you're so right that that's something that, especially when you go behind like the monitor of social media or email yeah. or anything like that, it's so easy <clears throat> to get into that like, well, that's wrong. I'm going to say something about it, forgetting that the other person on the end of the line getting this email or social media post that like maybe you haven't fully thought through. It's just emotion coming through yeah. or like that there's another person on the end of it going, oh, well, I thought I was trying my right. best here. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, kind of thing. Something that I've been thinking about quite a bit that is has to do with complaining and, and things like that is I feel like uh, media, social media doesn't put a, a microphone up to the good stuff that's happening mm. as much as we see the bad stuff going through on the news cycle or that activists or people are posting about on social media. To me, um, when I see things that people complain about, it sometimes it's helpful to say, okay, why is this person upset? Maybe it's something that I could learn from or, or uh, fix if it's you know something I'm involved with whatever that look, whatever that means, society wise or, or something with my job or 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, but uh, I lost my train of thought right there. Dang it. But, so when it's about, Unscripted. Yes, but when it's about like something that you're passionate, I think I was kind of following you. Like when it's about something you're passionate about and you're doing it like as a workplace or as like something mm-hmm. like that, you're doing it as a way. Go for it. Yeah, I, I got it again. Go. When people put a, a spotlight on the things that are going well. Yes. Even if it's something that they want to change and instead of complaining about it, they can share a story mm. or an anecdote of how things are going well for what they want to go well. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like if someone, um, I, I don't want to know, I don't want to put out like a, an example out there, but when it comes out, when that's the approach, when it's a positive approach instead of a negative, like, oh, this is why this thing is awful, but this is how it could be, you know? Yeah. Here's a story to illustrate that. To me, that that's so much better. Yeah. So that kind of just gave me an idea. So like um, with this video, I encourage you to maybe tag a friend or like tag somebody that you want to like lift up and say like, mm-hmm. you know, I think you're doing a really great job or like share those positive stories since so much of stuff is negative. Like um, I want to invite you to really kind of tag people and celebrate people. And we want to celebrate those stories and people with you here in this post this week. Yeah, that's an awesome idea. Great. And I'll go first. This woman is awesome <laughs> at what she does. She is a joy to work with. Super kind Aww. and uh, always thoughtful, bringing up great ideas. So, well, thank you. You're I'll, welcome. I'll, I'll, I don't, I'll do mine in the comments. All right. There okay. you go. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great one. Bye bye.